Mountain bike suspension forks were developed in the early 1990s. Like shock absorbers on a car, these forks expand and contract, absorbing the impact of rough terrain. They also provide traction, which adds both comfort and control to an off-road ride. There are plenty of jumps and bumps on an off-road trail. A suspension fork ensures a cushioned landing. They start by making the adjustment knob for the compression mechanism. Computerized tools carve an aluminum bar into a round shape with grooves for better gripping. Then they add a protective black coating. A worker inserts a tension bar into a quick release lever. The lever allows the rider to detach the wheel from the suspension fork. He presses a fastener into the lever to secure it to the bar. He lubricates the tension bar with grease. Then he inserts the bar into the wheel axle, joining it to the lever. A steel pin holds them together. An employee places the inner fork upside down in a hydraulic press. He inserts the steering tube in the center hole and activates the press. Then he lubricates one of the tubular legs and the upper part of an air spring. He pushes the part through the bottom of the leg. It slides to the top where he installs an adjustment knob. He inserts the lower part of the air spring into the leg. The air spring allows the suspension to move up and down. He snaps a collar on the end to lock the air spring in place. The damper is next. It's a piston and oil compression mechanism that absorbs energy. He pushes it into the second leg of the fork. He screws a threaded collar and valve into the top of the damper leg. He adjusts the damper's position. He adds oil to the damper using a fill sleeve to prevent spills. He pushes a rod through the damper to get rid of any air. Once the damper is full of oil and air free, he installs the top cap and seals it with a gasket. He screws a base ring onto the gasket. Then he installs the compression knob we saw machined earlier. The knob allows the rider to adjust the compression of the oil. With the inner fork complete, they now move on to the outer fork. An employee inserts bushings in the tubular legs and activates a two-pronged press. The press pushes bushings securely into the cavities. He secures the inner fork in a jig upside down and slides the outer fork onto it. He lubricates the spaces between the inner and outer forks. After bolting the suspension forks together, he increases the air pressure in the spring and caps the air fill valve. Now for testing. A motor moves the fork up and down simulating a bumpy ride. A computer monitors the suspension fork's performance. After passing the test, a worker applies brand decals to the fork. Finally, he slides the axle into the lower part of the fork and secures it. This mountain bike suspension fork is complete. Now, a technician fits it to the front of a bike. He attaches the handlebar to the steering tube with a nut and a long screw. Next, he attaches the wheel to the fork with the axle. It takes just two hours to make a mountain bike suspension fork. But they're strong enough to last through many more hours on long, bumpy mountain trails.